In this video, we're going to quickly go over the idea of present value and discounting. Uh, so the idea of dis discounting is pretty simple. The, the basic idea is that when things happen in the future, we're going to give them less weight than if they happen today. So there's two basic reasons for this, is that time preference, uh, in terms of impatience and procrastination, uh, we like um, to get our benefits early because we're impatient and uh, we'd like to pay the cost as far out in the future as possible because we like to procrastinate. Um, the uh, second reason is even more compelling and that's the opportunity cost of capital and that is that if you've got money now it's it can generate money so that uh, you'd rather have a hundred dollars today uh, than a hundred dollars hundred dollars in the future because if you got it today you could put it in the bank and start making money um, from in interest. Uh, so let's take a quick, simple example. Suppose you've got a hundred dollars and you put it in the bank at ten percent interest. Well, in one year you'd have a hundred and ten dollars, or one hundred times one point one, uh, and in two years you'd have um, one hundred twenty-one dollars, uh, one hundred and ten dollars that you started the the second year with um, times the, again the interest rate one point one. Notice that the um, uh, the interest is compounded, uh, that's why we end up with 121 rather than just 120. So we say that the present value of $121 to be received in two years at a 10% discount rate would be 121 divided by 1.1 squared because of the compounding factor that I mentioned, which is exactly equal to $100. So that's the type of um, calculation that we'll do with to obtain uh, the present value. The general equation for getting the present value is then very simple. Uh, if you get a benefit B at some point in the future, say n years down the road, you're going to take B plus 1 plus R, where R is your discount rate, 10% would equal 0.1, 20%, 0.2, etc. Um, and you take that denominator to the power n. So B divided by 1 plus R to the n gives us the present value. An important thing to, to understand is the relationship between discounting and inflation, which often throws people off. Real prices versus nominal prices. So real prices are inflation adjusted, nominal prices are, are inflation non-adjusted. Correct discounting always takes into account inflation. So if we expect, expect inflation to be 3% per year, and the nominal discount rate is 10%, then the real discount rate would only be 7%. Uh, you take the nominal rate, you subtract off the expected inflation, and you get the uh, real discount rate. So real discount rates are inflation adjustment adjusted, and we always want to use real discount rates when we're doing present value analysis. So. Uh, suppose that we have a present value of a stream of benefits or costs. Uh, so, for example, we get B0 dollars this year and B1 dollars next year and B2 dollars in two years, etc., etc. The equation then to get this present value of this stream of benefits is very simply we discount each individual piece. So we take B0 divided by 1 plus R to the 0. Now, of course, 1 plus R to the 0 is equal to 1, so this just gives us B0. We discount that B1 dollars that we're going to get in year one by one time, that is we're taking one plus R to the first power, B2, the benefits we get in the second year, one plus R to the second power, etc, etc, etc. Or we can write this um, succinctly in using this summation notation, uh, but that if you're not comfortable with that you don't need to really pay much attention to that. So let's just do a quick exam uh, type uh, question, and this is actually from uh, an exam that was given in AGAC 350. Suppose that you have a choice between spending $2,200 on solar heating for water or investing the same money in the bank at the annual rate of interest of 10%. The panels would save you $600 per year every year during their four-year lifespan. Now obviously solar panels typically last longer than four years, but we don't want to do math that far out into the future. So uh, you save $600 uh, from this $2,200 investment for every, for each of four years starting today and then three years into the future. The question is, is purchasing the panels uh, a good investment? Uh, does it pass a benefit cost test? So that was the question that was on the exam. Let's see what the correct answer would look like. 
So the present value of the cost is easy. We're paying that right away. That's $2,200. The present value of the benefit, then we need to get those benefits in every year and correctly discount them. So we take $600 and we divide that by 1.1 to the 0. $600 for the first year or a year from now, the benefit divided by 1.1 to the 1. $600 um, two years down the road, 1.1 squared, and $600 three years down the road, 1.1 cubed. So we add those up, 600, 545.5, 5, 495.9, and 450.8 gives us a total of $2,092. So since $2,092 is less than two, the present value of the cost, uh, the project does not pass the benefit cost test. That's all that there is to it for discounting. The thing, key thing to remember is simply our general equation uh, where we're going to take a stream of benefits and discount it appropriately. You notice that every year's benefit is discounted separately and then added up together uh, to obtain our final present value uh, uh, number. We'll use the idea of discounting in doing looking at dynamic efficiency and hopefully these slides will help you out. I'm now going to pause for a second to make sure that the video ends correctly. Bye.